you ever had an issue with signing in to a Microsoft Teams device? Let's have a look at one scenario. So here we have our Microsoft Teams panel outside our room, and we're going to sign in. I have the account credentials so we can sign in on the device itself. And we simply click on sign in on this device. And let's get our account credentials that have been provisioned ready for us. And now it's going to check compliance policies, enrollment policies, etc. And now it wants our password. And it's checking to make sure we have enrollment policies, etc. in place, condition access, compliance policies. All Microsoft Teams units on Android devices basically do these checks upon sign in. So, verifying a few things. So, it's all looking good so far. And we're now signing in. But now it's asking which organization to select. So we have Contoso and we select that and we don't get anywhere. We've got the option to sign out in the top right uh, or we can go back to our beginning. So what might this issue be? Well, one of the first tricks I really like to do is to check to sign in on a web browser. So we can make sure that the account is working. So let's do that now. So here we have my browser, a uh, private browser with the account, Adams, and we put in our password. And let's see what happens on the browser when we try and sign in. Let's see if we can get some more information rather than the device. See, uh, you're missing out. Ask your admin to enable Microsoft Teams for Contoso. Now we don't see that message on the pad. We just get select an organization. It knows we can't sign in with Microsoft Teams. So what could that issue be? Well, in this particular scenario, we had a customer say they've hardened their Teams tenant. What does that mean? Well, if we jump into our 365 tenant, so here we have our Teams admin center, but we want to check the Microsoft uh, 365 tenant. So in this particular issue, it was actually something to do with the Microsoft Teams settings. So under Microsoft Teams, there is an option to turn on Teams for users with the following licenses. So we have a business and enterprise and other. This enterprise had disabled other licenses from signing in. So when you're using a Microsoft Teams room, standard, basic, pro, common area phone, etc., all these need to be enabled. We've now done that. Now let's just jump back and see if we can sign in now. So uh, let's just uh, jump back to our panel outside the room. Let's try our sign in on the device now. And there we have it. We've now signed in. So that license uh, has taken place that we're allowed to sign in with other licenses on our devices. So a very simple little trick uh, if you're having trouble signing in. Now, I guess if we dived into the Azure log, sign in logs, we could see what was happening on there. So let's just jump into the logs and see what we can see. So here's our Microsoft Azure. And let's look at our Active Directory. And let's find the user so we can filter it down quickly. Adams. And then we can look at the sign-in logs. So this is showing nothing out of uh, errors. So let's just look at the audit logs. And here we go, look. We can see that it's attempted to, to register the device. So as we can see here, everything looks good in these audit logs as well. So this is a really tricky one to try and find trying to understand why devices aren't signing in when the license isn't being applied uh, or not being adhered to. It's got a permission that's blocked. So just a handy little uh, one to look out for. So when you are looking for those errors in your sign-in issues, it can be tricky. So double check the licensing, make sure they're able to sign in. And then we have a successful device deployed. Any questions? Let me know below.